What's up, guys? It's Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. Back at it again with <laughs> the chronicles of a diaspora trying to make it in Africa. Yes. First of all, big shout outs to the customers of the AfricanSuperstar.com. I appreciate you guys. What's up? What's up? Big shout outs to our members only that support our platform on a monthly basis. Big shout outs to all the African superstar music lovers. As you know, I've been a bit quiet since I released my most recent uh, official music video, which was Liar 2022. I dropped that on June 26th. It's doing extraordinary. We're over 4,000 views in like less than two weeks. <laughs> So I would definitely say it has made a splash. It was definitely meant to make a splash, but most importantly, it was meant to, uh, you know, help me express myself and help me kind of heal from that situation. And I, I'm, I'm so delighted to say that I'm very relieved over that situation. It actually doesn't even come to mind the way that it used to. So big shout outs to me, African Superstar Music Group and all of the music supporters. Well, guys, as you can see, the view that I just shown you is not Ghana. <laughs> I have actually returned to the UK. Yes, I know. Um, I have several things going on here in the UK that I need to work on. Um, one of which obviously is music. I do intend to record the music video for the track I recorded back in April on my last visit with Tarzan, who is amazing. A rapper out of Damn. London and so we got together we did our track it's amazing I haven't released it because obviously we need to coordinate and we need to do the music video so that's one thing um, I've also been requested by other artists to collab and feature on their tracks which is dope um, there's a music festival they reached out and said that they might want me to perform, huh? What? <laughs> You're not going to tell me anything. I'm performing here in London and I perform in Ghana. What? That makes me for real, for real, international music star. Like, you need to feel me. You need to understand. Um, so today, I'm back at the couch that I formerly resided in <laughs> here in the UK. Uh, last summer when I came and I stayed for a few months, I stayed here. Uh, big shout out to my friend that, that accommodates me. You know, see... The accommodation gets different when I come to the UK, see? Okay. Um, in Ghana, I live in, you know, a posh neighborhood. I have my own flat complete with toilet. But when I come here to, to the UK, I get a couch, see? Yeah. I sleep on a couch and it's in a shared house. So there's, uh, I believe, three other rooms here. And we have to share a toilet and a kitchen. That's, that's European living. Some of you guys ask... Why do you guys sleep in the Is it not obvious why we go to, to the continent? This is a part of, you know, the transition for some of us, unfortunately. Now, to, for all intents and purposes, I have to state this for the record. Disclaimer. When I moved to Ghana, I had everything in order, okay? Um, at the time, I had kind of calculated like a monthly you know, amount that I was going to be using and spending and blah, blah, blah. Um, and however, you know, due to my YouTube channel going down, <laughs> that affected my income. You know what I mean? Because at the time, I pretty much had set a, a monthly figure and I was earning double that, okay? Which I was able to save and I was doing a, other things and investing in projects. Um, so I, I want to say for the record, I didn't really have the intention of doing this whole back and forth when I moved to Ghana. When I moved to Ghana, I was, I had enough income to sustain myself, you know, without having to do this. But at the meantime, to respond to the unforeseen things that happened. Um, and for those of you that don't know, some of you that are new viewers, this is my second YouTube platform. I had a larger YouTube platform that was taken down unjustly, unfairly in April of 2021, I had just surpassed 11,000 subscribers. So my channel, you know, and at the time I had been on YouTube for several years. So I had viral videos and I had residual income from those viral videos. So I was, I was doing pretty good in terms of income wise when I moved to Ghana originally, but we can't cry over spilled milk. If your dream is really whatever it is, you will keep persisting against the obstacles that come along with that dream, you know? 
Um, I'm still very fortunate. I do spend the majority of my time in Ghana currently. You know, last year I was in Ghana for nine months out of the year and I, I traveled to the UK and traveled to the US for a three months out of the year. Um, this year I have only been in the UK so far about three weeks, you know, it's now July. I don't intend to be gone extensively. However, the main objective of this particular trip, like I mentioned earlier, is completing my project and potentially performing here in, in, in the UK. I have some, a very busy last quarter of the year planned in Ghana. So I definitely need to get back. Um, some people have said, well, you know, like for instance, my friend, <laughs> um, you know, they don't like, everybody doesn't like to be included in the vlog. So for anonymity's sake, however, you know, my friend's like, well, why don't you stay, you know, in the UK for like six months out the year? I can't do that. I'm a rising music star. Okay. I need to be available to blossom my music. Okay. And for instance, like, let's say I spent January up to June in the UK. So many things have transpired in Ghana since that time. Okay. I was featured on the dentist show. I've shot what three music videos. Yeah. I've shot three music videos. I've recorded countless tracks. I performed on Ghana independence day. Uh, I've been on the radio. I did, you know, I mean so many things that I did here or in Ghana rather, I would have missed if I were here, you know? So I think at this time toggling between both lifestyles is what I'm going to do. Um, it's definitely an asset. It's definitely something that us diasporans, you know, should be, be proud of is the fact that we have that access. I think it's amazing. I can just come to London when I need to. Um, if I need to do projects or whatever, I can do that. If I need to raise a little money, I can do that. And then go back home. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, I will be periodically vlogging. Um, you know, my life is not really that riveting. Believe it or not. <laughs> I know some of you guys are like, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but for real. Like, yeah, the weekends be lit. First of all, there's no we we lit weekends here in uh, UK. Let's establish that. No. <laughs> but in Ghana, it's like, okay, my weekends are lit. But from day to day, I pretty have a pretty calm, routine life. Um, here in the UK, it's it's really no frills, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's strictly what I've come to do. So um, I reached out to the artist, which is again, Tarzan. He's really busy this month. He's actually touring and he's got shows and all that. So trying to coordinate with him to do the video. The videographer team we're working with here in the UK is currently in South Africa doing a project. They fly in over the weekend. So I don't know when we're gonna be able to shoot UK tomorrow. I don't know, um, but I'm on task, you know, and that's my main and primary goal before I return to Ghana is shooting that video because that song is amazing. Okay. My first collab track UK to Ghana, it's not released, <laughs> but, um, that's what it is. So anyway, guys, I know I had a lot to share on this. I haven't been, you know, posting videos. Hey, please do forgive me. I've been busy. <laughs> and June was a busy month. <laughs> Two music videos, a photo shoot. That, it was a lot. That was a lot. But I, I really enjoyed, uh, you know, my birthday season this year. You know, shout outs to all the other cancers. I saw some people on here. We have the same birthday. So big shout outs to all of you that, you know, all you cancers out there. And now it's July. So big shout outs to all the July borns. And uh, I wish you guys happy birthday month and all of that but anyway guys i have to get on the move obviously i'm here in the uk now and the grind has started <laughs> so i have some errands to run today i was supposed to get my hair done today but sarah got sick uh -huh. you guys know sarah sarah is my hairdresser here in the uk she's sick so we're gonna have to reschedule that hopefully i can get it done within the next couple of days and um yeah that's that's what it is so until we meet again Stay black and true. If you ain't black, just